It's where oil rigs come to rest. Stacked up in Cromarty Firth in Scotland, 12 of them, here because the economics of North Sea oil don't work at current prices. This is probably the first time we've had this many in since uh, 2003, which was the last uh, downturn. Bob Buskey runs the port here. The North Sea doesn't work at $30 a barrel, no. Uh, Break-even for most of the fields is higher than that. Uh, so when it gets to 30, it's, uh, it's just not a good space to be in. Capital investment is usually the first thing to get hit. Exploration drilling goes, appraisal drilling goes, and hence we have these uh, rigs coming in here to stack for the time being. Port authorities hope a course can be charted towards profitability for North Sea oil, which will see these rigs dragged back out to sea. But for now, this is their home. Around half of the rigs in the Firth at the moment are what's known as warm stacked. They have a skeleton staff on board and they could go back into operation quickly if required. The other half are what's known as cold stacked. They are essentially, for now, shut down. They all serve as a very visible daily reminder for the town of Invergordon about the impact of slumping oil prices. The giant rigs dominate the landscape around the town of Invergordon and their presence is front and centre in the minds of people who live here. The ship inn, opposite the port, has just been renovated. As oil prices fell, business here did too. It was actually almost like it was overnight. It just happened, you know, and, and that was it. And it was like a ghost town everywhere. It's quite hard, actually. And, and, and it, it's, well, it's affecting everybody from, you know, the shopkeeper to, to the pubs to just the, to the uh, you know, the normal person. Similar stories are told all over town. So many businesses here in Invergordon have come to rely on the revenues from the oil industry. And you can see the effects clearly on Invergordon's main street. This bank branch closed recently. That has had a knock-on effect of making it harder for people here to access cash to in turn spend in the town's shops. Several firms have decided to cut their losses. The local Citizens Advice Bureau has been busy too. People have gone to them with financial worries and um, seeing how they can manage the finances because they just can't make ends meet. Um, I've never seen a time when it's been this bad. It's the worst I've ever seen it. Invergordon's past is closely tied to the fortunes of the port at Cromarty Firth as demonstrated at its museum. The town's future, for better or for worse, is likely to be too. Many here are writing off 2016 and banking on a more prosperous next year. Everyone's just hoping that things are going to get better, you know, so, uh, so and everyone's kind of thinking that 2017 is going to be better, so, uh, so I'm hoping that as well. <laughs> that depends on oil prices rising significantly. If they don't, a bright future for North Sea Oil and those businesses here that depend on it could be elusive. Ollie Barrett, Invergordon in Scotland.